see, I already have my eyebrows done. So now we're gonna go in with the eyes first. Pink is a color that is way too bright. And if you do the face first, you might have some fallout, even if you put baking powder or whatever. So for us not to deal with that today, I'm gonna do first the eyes and then the face. So let's just get into it. As you all know, I'm gonna be using again the James Charles palette for this look, but we're gonna start with the light pink. Okay, so I have done cre created a cut crease, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna darken out the outer portion of our eyes with a darker color, which what i mean by darker i mean something dark i'm gonna be using probably this one right here just to darken up the outer parts of my body of my body of my eye So now that we're kind of done with the eyes, we're going to go in onto the face because I was trying something out and it didn't came out how I wanted. It. It's looking really eh right now. So let's just go in with the face because I want to be. This is the Naked Skin Urban Decay on tone on shade 3.0. Now let's bronze a little with the Hola bronze little thingy. This time I want to create something. I want to try something new with this bronzer, which is just like on the side and nothing like on the cheek, on the front proportion of my body, of my, of my face. Now we're gonna bake with the baking powder. Oh, while we're baking, we're gonna do the final touches to the eye. We're gonna take the mascara, the thick and fast volume mascara. Again, I'm looking down because my mirror is here. Instead of using a black or dark liner, like eyeliner, I wanted to go with the white one because I want my eyes to pop and to go with the cut crease color which is a really light pink now we're gonna be using a white eyeliner which i already have it sharpened i don't have to go sharpening it again and we're just gonna go in on there which this one is not that wow i used to have one that it was from nyx oh my god that was so white like that was bright bright white that wasn't even something you could play with because that shit was white i'm not supposed to curse but i'm sorry so this is what I like to do. I like to go like on my thingy and just go like that to create it, like to make it wider, I guess. And you see the difference? Yeah, you can already see the difference. So I just went with the gray lashes, very black, and the color very black. And now i'm just going to remove this and i'm gonna put my lashes back and i'll be right back okay now we're gonna go in with my favorite part which is the highlight this highlight i have used it like what two times but it's a type of highlight that you don't play with because you don't want to you don't want to finish this this is a good damn highlight like this is the type of highlight that i will recommend anybody because this is the shape this is like not any um highlight this is the highlight um let me do my lips and look at that that's what happens when you try to do makeup with a white shirt so let me just do the lips and i will come back again 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 okay guys now we're gonna set with my setting spray which i don't have a lot and i have to buy this is the final look you guys i know it's weird because it looks like my foundation is not matching my neck but then when i go like this it does 
it's weird but this is the final look i hope you like it if you need any details on it if i wasn't good enough describing what i was doing and how i was doing it my bad um hope you guys tell me what else i need to do and if you like it give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more looks like this and if you like it if you don't like it let's have a conversation and that's it for today's you guys thank you so much for watching and again i hope you enjoy this video